Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the hot fixes and the updates that we did see. So overall, the hot fix notes are some of the absolute biggest issues that we've seen with AFK Journey. We have a scheduled a no downtime update. That is right, if you remember AFK Arena, we actually had a considerable amount of downtime normally on a patch. This is gonna be a hot fix. Simply restarting the game is going to do this. Now, major updates, this again, is probably the absolute stickiest points that we have seen in AFK Journey, which of course, the grinding effect in there, they need some changes. The Stargazer, we need some changes. The Trial of Abyss becomes available the 18th day following the server launch, which we know we're coming pretty quick. You can unlock this feature by completing all current AFK stages and the main quest, The Last Leg, prepared to challenge up to 300 stages and earn valuable rewards including the Stellar Crystals. Now, up to this point of AFK Journey, we know for a majority, I believe we got, what, five Stellar Crystals maybe at all. This is gonna give you the ability to add those Stellar Crystals. Now, again, we don't know exactly how many this is going to be at this point with the update, but I definitely wanna check it out and see exactly what we're gonna get out of here. Within the next couple of days, we'll be able to see how many Crystals we're getting. So added cross-server friends feature. Now this again was, especially being a content creator on YouTube, a lot of players joined on a lot of different servers, even watching the videos, have joined in a bunch of different places. Not being able to actually communicate with them across the servers was something that we were talking about. This will allow you to engage in synergy battles, proxy battles, challenge against corrupted creatures alongside players from other servers. So this is going cross-server, very, very cool. Maximum numbers of friends you can support have went to 40 to 60. So again, we're gonna have another 20 slots on the friends list. Now, very similar to the guild. Make sure, guys, that you have your friends list and your friends list is always active. Make sure when you go in there, the guild that you're in or the guild that you're running, that people in the guild are active. If you're missing out those battle drills, you're gonna have an absolute detrimental effect to the guild if you don't have all of the players participating, which of course, we have the trophy basis for our guild based on the players that participate the most are gonna re be rewarded with the most um, chests out of the, the guild chest, which is a really cool feature. Adjusted the Primal Lord kill rewards and time required based on each surfer's kill progression. Time limit reward for the highest tier kill has been extended from five to eight days. Now this we can kind of take with a grain of salt because when the Primal Lord came out, we only had a couple days within the server that it was open. Some players literally skyrocketed through buying stuff, pay to win, going in there. But now the majority of players are starting to catch up. So when it comes to the Primal Lord kill, it's going to start happening a lot faster and faster and faster. You have to think right now, even my account, I have some heroes that are on 130. When I start hitting 180, when I start hitting 240, when we start going above and beyond that, once we start getting a lot more heroes built, the Primal Lord is gonna die exponentially faster because not only just the players that were really pay to win at the beginning, but we'll also see a very solid progression from the players that are actually building this out and continuing progression within the game. Now, experience optimization. This again is some of the things that have been kind of the sticking points to AFK Journey. Lowered level requirements for joining the corrupted creature teams, which is very cool. Weaken the second wave of enemies in AFK stages with multiple waves. Again, some of the hurdles that we kind of felt with, or we kind of dealt with as a player base. Daily purchase limit of dual letters and honor duel has been increased to 30 times per day. If you log in for the first time before the update, this change will take effect the following day. However, if you log in later, it's gonna take an effect later. So again, you're gonna be able to get these increased, which is gonna be very, very cool to see. Optimize the description test for the 10X recruitment. Again, this was kind of confusing. Optimize the description of the rate up. Again, just the clarification piece in there. Recruitment mechanisms remain unchanged, so it is gonna be still the same. Optimize the description of the guild trust distribution for clarity. And again, when you start getting into multiple languages, when you start getting into a multitude of people, you had to make sure there was clarification. We have been giving a ton of feedback to the dev team on AFK Journey all through the PTR and also through the beta tests that we ran, and we will continue doing exactly that. So bug fixes, fixed an issue where the tapping the ranking button on Expert Duel didn't navigate correctly, which we've seen. Abnormally ranking sorting issues in the battle drills, again, that is one that we've seen. Fix a problem in the Dream Realm preparation interface where the levels didn't update when switching the hands of residents. Again, really little bug things that we're fine tuning in here. Fix the issue where our icons were not being displayed on the minimap. Fix an issue where the exclamation point remained on titles, wouldn't disappear after tapping it. 
Also looking, some of the translation, I've seen actually a couple things in here that still falls into Chinese. It's not being translated to English or another language, and it's being kind of stuck. Combat mechanics, uh, with Entendre, the Desert Fury fixed an issue with Entendre's ultimate, where damage did not increase upon reaching level three. Now, and at level three, Shield Assault deals 450 instead of 440. So Entendre getting a little bit of buff out of there. Now, of course, this is a really big hot fix again with some of the things that we're adding. Again, some of the sticking points that we had. We knew it was kind of coming with the Trials of the Abyss coming. Again, we don't know how many Stellar Crystals are going to be in there because a lot of players are seeing that we have the Celestials and the Hypo Heroes, except there's almost no way to get them outside of the guild that you can actually farm materials or farm some copies of the heroes, meaning that right now with the early release short of money, they are completely unattainable, which is very difficult for a lot of players to roll out, especially when there's such a strong, very base um, heroes. Now, of course, Battle Drills, we got another 500 diamonds there. So we defeated the final boss, which is awesome. I want to check out the Battle Drills, see exactly what we have in here, because I haven't seen it since we've hopped in here and actually defeated out that boss. But you can see our guild chest. Like I said earlier, I'm going to show you my guild. So in here, you can see chest amount right here, IMD2 is crushing it with 75 chests. I'm quite a bit down here with 46 chests, but as you can see, as we get down here, when it comes to the distribution, this is distributed on the percentage that they are active. So again, this is a good way to do it. And I think it honestly, it's probably a fair way to do it because you can see right here, we do have four heroes or four players that are inactive within the guild. If they are inactive with the guild, they're not gonna get percentage, they're not gonna get those rewards. And ultimately, if they in, are inactive in the guild, if we don't see them actually progressing within the guild, there's gonna be a point where we're gonna have to remove them because again, it is a guild function. When it comes to the battle drills, like I said a little bit earlier, guys, this is probably one of the biggest parts of AFK Journey. When you can go through here and you can actually kill these bosses, this is the season challenger. So as you're going through and as you're making progression within this game, this mode gets harder, which means the players within this mode, the players within your guild have to get stronger or they're literally gonna have so many hurdles that they're not gonna be able to make any progression, which is the reason why you have to get stronger with your guild. That's why some of the bigger end game guilds are going to be really locked into very, very high performing players because it has to be based on the guild mode and on this battle drill mode. Now, overall, I feel like this is something I would love to see absolute game changer into AFK Arena if they kind of put a mode like this where it is cumulative with the guilds outside of like the Abyssal Expedition, I think it would be really awesome. You can see we have five easy guards here left, which I do have some stamina to go ahead and fight. And you can see all of our camp members already in here. We're gonna go ahead, we are gonna make some more progression in here and continue farming. This camp is filled out. This camp has 13 to 15, which means out of a 30 player guild, we have two slots where somebody is not contributing anything to this. And again, looking at the overall power, I'm what one, that's what 1 million or, or 1,321K. We have some pretty strong players in here, some that are making a little bit more progression than others. And a couple, I was trying to look to see where D2 was. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one there's Pog. Maybe he's on this side. Usually I see the little the little icon of exactly where he's at. And some of them don't have the icon. Some of them don't show up in here. But I'm thinking I got to look to see exactly where he's at in here so we can make sure that we're making some more progression. Now, of course, this is going to lead to the guild loot. Guild loot, we continue to build this up. The reputation is going up to contribute. And of course, this is going to give us the chest of Ellers. Out of here, you really want to get these, and I talk about it, the guild medals. That is what we're looking to get with all of the keys we get in here are the guild medals. Not only can we get these A-level heroes, but getting the guild medals out of here are going to be an absolute game changer because, of course, looking at the guild, just like we've seen with Rainier, um, we do have the ability to actually pick them up and get some copies of them, which is awesome to see right here out of the guild store. We picked up our first copy of our Hypo Hero. Sorry guys, so that is gonna do it for the update. I love the Hotfix update, very, very cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.